Do you use a, do you use the moisturizer on your lobes? Yeah, because I don't like it when they get dry. Do you use the lip scrub on your lobes because they are exfoliated? <laughs> I, I put it on at night. Um, the mask. Yeah. The lip mask on I the lobe. I put that on my lobes at night. We should do a lobe mask. A lobe scrub and mask. <gasps> lobe love. Lobe love! <laughs> People are asking and they want to know why or when did Heidi come into Athea? Yes. Like when did I bring her on? And what's it like to work with friends? You know? I mean, clearly we have you have to fun. have you have to have the right you do. friendship. You do. Like the kind of friendship where you can touch each other each Your other's lobes. lobes and not be offended by it. If you are someone like me who is very direct, logical, constantly thinking about what needs to happen for the growth of this company, not the growth growth of me as an individual. You can't care about this is kind of sad, but it's true and I learned this from my parents both very successful people. Yes. You can't care about feelings. You know, us as a team, or you and your friend, or you and your family member, whatever, you're, you might get upset, or you might hurt someone's feelings, but as long as you are both, or if there's more of you, yeah. are collectively working towards what is best for the company, yep. and you can take yourself out of it. So to find a partner who thinks the same way as you, but slightly different, Obviously, me and Heidi are very similar, but we're very different, and that's exactly why we work so well together. Also, um, I trust Brooke, and Brooke trusts me, and I think that's what it boils down to. So if she says something to me that might be taken as abrasive or offensive from somebody else, I'm not gonna hear it the same way from her because I know she cares about me, I know she cares about the business, I know we have the same end goal, and we have a mutual respect for each other. So she could even abruptly say something and I'm gonna take it as like something that really. I'm dying because, <laughs> so before I met Heidi, like, I actually met Chris. One of the first things he said to me after we had kind of interacted a little bit is he goes, you have to meet my wife. <laughs> and he said the exact, he literally was like, said the exact same thing you just said Did is, he? you guys are would get along so great you're, you're right. you are so similar right. and instantly i think me and you were like best we friends. were like that and what's funny i don't know that this is going to make the video but do you notice when you came into my life is when chris started making his way out i How have i you? have been i've been slowly um collecting divorced women <laughs> I love seeing what women can do, not just alone, but I love what women can do together. And, and one thing I've always admired about you, Brooke, actually when you reached out, um, you were so full of compliments for me, like right away. And I'm like, she doesn't even know me. And she has all these compliments and it really does take a strong woman to lift another woman up. And that's something I think you like exude is just positivity and excitement and uplifting. You actually brought the Athea idea to me first. And, and you brought the team and you had said kind of, hey, I, want, I don't wanna do this alone, I know I can, and you could, and you did it for a while. Um, but I want a team of women that can create something that can show the world what true beauty is. Like growing up, you know, and you start going through hormonal changes and you're dealing with, um, you know, skin irritation and like problems for the first time. And it really is at that point, it feels so unknown. Like, what are you supposed to do? What is the proper way to take care of your skin? And I think like when I was growing up, I just always went to my mom, I you know, too. and she yeah. did her best to try and find a system yeah. that worked. And uh, yeah, I think it was a, a big goal of ours to just help empower women and girls all over and give them another thing that they can be a part of that makes them feel more beautiful. And it's not just, it's not from, you know, covering something up or trying to be someone different. It's literally just giving you some tools that can help you take control of your, of your life, your skin. On every level. The only way I think that there really can be this like movement for really it's like for it to become more normalized for women to be running businesses. Isn't it weird that still like it's just you know it's 
like the boss it happens or babe in a boardroom yeah it's like it and it happens yeah. right like my mom my mom is was a business owner and i mean i had women in my life ahead of me like you know the women before me that were strong powerful women and they got they got shit, shit. done <laughs> you know and even then though you know, there's still a stigma around that type of woman. They're like intimidating. They're, when they're doing what they need to do to be in charge and get stuff done and be adamant and logical and making decisions, all of a sudden they're it's, like mean. It's viewed differently yes. than if a man were to make the same comments yes. that a woman made. And you have come, it's funny because I always feel like you're older than me. And not, not looks wise, just, you know, like, who you are and how you act and how, how strong you are in what you believe and how you stand up for the things that you do. Um, you can clearly come from a line of really strong women. I come from a line of women who worked in home. Not, I mean, they, they were, and they were strong and they were capable and they were amazing and successful in what they did. But for me to come from, I have three brothers and I'm the one girl and I am just as hard headed and strong yeah. as they are. I kind of, broke the mold and there's been a lot of um, hesitancy for me as I've gone out into this world and like like a do I belong like do I belong here okay I'm in this boardroom with all these men do I belong here and it's been great actually to have you come into my life too and sh at such a young age show a level of confidence that you belong like you're just kind of like it is what it is and I've never even told you this but it's such an example to me where I'm like okay if she freaking belongs. I belong. And I love that together we can show everybody that you belong where you want to belong. If there's not a seat at the table for you, bring a folding chair. And I love that because like you make a seat and you are the epitome of that. We just want more women and girls to know that it's there if they want it. If there are two women you want creating a skincare line for you, you're gonna want the two women that care about how they look. I sure. promise, we're gonna make sure our skin looks good. And if our skin looks good, yours is gonna look good. I 100% right? will not stand behind a product that I myself no. won't use. No. There's no way. No. Because you know what? I'm, t uh, I, I'm terrible at lying. <laughs> There are so many different companies that you can get skin products from. You 100% can. I mean, and, and that's, that's up to you and that's, that's up to each individual and that's fine, you know? And why, why would I, why would you want to use Athea? Here's what I've come to terms with, with skincare in general. Everyone's skin is very different. That's true. And with that said, you're gonna find something that works for you. But with Athea or with skin, we all have skin besides someone having like dry skin or oily skin. It all needs the same sort of thing. It needs to be clean. It needs, we're all aging. It needs the same ingredients. You're going to find in skincare other products or people like, we have a new anti-aging. We have a new anti-aging. They're all using the same sort of, it's all derived from the ingredients. Yeah. Some so, of them say manufacturers. Yes. But... I would say the most important thing is that we really, really focus on giving back. That is so much bigger than the product we sell. That is so much bigger and more important than the product we make and manufacture. And every product that is sold is putting girls through school. When I choose to buy products, um, I, there are so many options. It's like diets and, and workout plans. Like there are millions of them out there. Which one do you choose? Truth be told, every diet, almost every workout plan is effective if you follow it. Yep. Um, so my thing, and we, you know, same with skincare. Like mo many, not all, many of the skincare lines are really great if you follow it. But what it boils down to for me is finding a company all, with all the products that I trust. Like what is a company that isn't just here selling products, but they're enrolling their people in a bigger vision, in a bigger mission. The mission is about helping women feel beautiful and understand what beauty is um, on a much deeper level. And I love that, you know, the things that we talk about and what's on our social media and, and how we speak and we talk, it's not a, a company centered around vanity. It's a company centered around 
making ourselves the best we can possibly be um, so that we can better other people. And lifting other women up, it's beauty holistically. It's a sense of self-respect. Like it's a form of self-respect to, to care enough about yourself to take care of yourself. And you're right, people do confuse it. And I, I mean, I get comments on it on social oh, media. Yeah. It's like, oh, you care about your face. Yeah, I care about my face. You're looking at it right now. Um, and you know, it's like, you, you don't, I don't, I've been there where, and, and even it's like going through pregnancy as a woman when you're pregnant and then you have the baby, you're a little self-conscious about your body for the first time, not to say it's not okay because it's beautiful and we have something amazing out of it. But with self-care, we can get ourselves feeling a way that allows us to show up for the world and for everybody else around them and actually make positive contribution to the world. I, I feel like that's a huge part of the FBM mission and I'm super proud to be a part. And I'm so happy that you did in fact Jump join the team, man. Yeah, we are. Join the team. Go team. And we have, we have stuff in the works and we actually are not allowed to talk to you about nope. it. Nope, zip. But you should be excited. <laughs> yes, you should. Because now that there's both of us, we are Watch gonna, out. it's gonna be out of control. <laughs>